good morning this is rajeshwari from j section i am here to explain you about the string formatting and multi line strings so what is string formatting string formatting is the process of infusing things in the string dynamically and presenting the string here there are four types in string formatting the first one is formatting with percentile operator and the second formatting with format of string method and the third one is formatting with string iterals called as strings fourth one is formatting with string template class let me explain you all the types in brief let us discuss the first type that is formatting string using percentile operator we use modulo operator called percentile operator in this method and this method is called the string formatting operator so let us take one example to get you into better understanding here the first example y is equals to input of with in double quotation enter your section name and print hi percentile s how are you and percentile y so what is here printing first of all enter your section name it is getting as we are entering some of the name called as j and here what is printing hi j how are you here the percentile s is o, s operator is acts as the section name again we are getting this uh, j as without double quotations if you need with the uh, in string format we are we can use that percentile r operator uh, as same as y is equals to int of input of entry or section name and print hi percentile r how are you percentile y hi j um, here j is printing in single quotes how are you next if you don't give the percentile y what will happen so y is equals to int of input of entry or section name print high percentile s how are you we are not giving this percentile y so what is printing high percentile s how are you means we are not getting this section name so here percentile y is important to get you the output you can also use multiple strings at a time and can also use variables to insert objects in the string so we are taking an example injecting multiple strings using percentile operator we are uh, giving x is equals to jump and we are printing here within double quotations row hit percentile s and percentile around within percentile walked and x so what is the output row hit walked and jump around so here the percentile s and percentile s indicates the walked and x what jump so row hit walked and jump around and next another example print there are percentile d dogs running on the street dot percentile 369 so here the percentile d is an integer indicating the percentile of 369 here what is printing there are 369 dogs running on the street now the second method is formatting string using format of method and the syntax is string here within flare brackets then also within braces dot format of something one comma something and here the example formatting string using format of method and index method so print within double quotations we are or and braces dot format of indians so in this braces what is going to print here the dot format of indians is there that is going to insert in this flower braces so what is the output we all are indians next print two in this braces 210 dot format of students are and we so using the index method here two index the two is for students and the one is for r and the zero is for we so what is going to print according to index we are students means zero one and two the next uh, example is inserting objects using assign keywords so print a semicolon in the braces here we are having a comma b is uh, semicolons within the braces b comma c semicolon within the braces c dot format of a equals to 1 b equals to 2 c equals to 39.6 so here it is using it is uh, assigning the keywords so what is a here printing a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 36.9 
and the again is we are reusing the inserted objects so the example print within braces x the first within braces x was all right but the braces x and braces x was different difficult dot format of x equals to second so what is going to bring the first second was all right but the second second was difficult so here using the single format here x equals to second we are using for different values in the braces float precision with dot format of method syntax is index semicolon with dot precision type so here we are having some of the points to be noted the first one is d for integers we are using and f for floating numbers d for binary numbers o for octal and x for octal hexadecimal numbers s for string e for floating point in an exponent format now the third method is formatting strings using f strings this method is also known as literal string interpolation these are more commonly as f strings because of the leading f character preceding the string literal the idea behind the f strings is to make the string interpolation simplified to create an f string prefix is with f with string dot format of f strings provide concise and convenient way to embedded python expressions inside literal string literal strings for formatting in formatting strings with f strings let us discuss about some of the various examples if you take the formatting strings with f strings the example one here we are having name equals to uh, string is j section and the printer here in f strings the string is preceded with the character f and f within uh, quotes my section is uh, and within the braces name here what is going to print my section is j section means the in, what is there in the braces is going to print here that is j section next one is lambda expression using f strings here example print f within double quotation his weight weight is lambda x colon x star and means x into 2 and within another brace another bracket 33 then what is going to print his weight is 66 so in this lambda function here 33 is acting as x inside the function and printing as 63 and the last type is string template class template string is another method used to format strings in python in in the string module template allows to create simplified syntax for output specification the format uses placeholder names formed by dollar with a valid python identifiers surrounding the placeholder with braces allows it to be followed by more alphanumeric letters with no intervening spaces let me explain you some of the examples in string template class first example let us take from string import template n1 equals to the string is gmr and to gmr institute of technology and n3 hello and what we are doing here using the dollar we are replacing with n4 n5 and n6 let's see n is equals to template of dollar n4 this is dollar uh, n5 and n6 so what is going to print print n dot substitute here n4 equals to n3 means using the dollar we are replacing with n4 equals to n3 and n5 equals to n1 and n6 equals to n1 and two then what is going to print finally is hello this is gmr institute of technology so we are getting as output like this and another example from string import template we are giving the student name and marks as ram 90 ankit 78 and bob 92 and we are uh, using the template with uh, with using the template t equals to template of hi a uh, dollar name here you are getting the name and you got marks how much marks you got here that is going to be printed and using the for loop here print t dot substitution name equals to i of 0 then the name is going to print and mark equals to i of 1 then you are getting output as hi ram you got 90 marks means same as what is uh, given here 
is going to print in the output. High RAM, you got 90 marks. High Ankit, you got 78 marks. High Verb, you got 92 marks. Means using the uh, template, you are getting like output as like this. And, and the final one we are going to discuss is multi-line strings. What are multi-line strings? These are uh, used triple quotes to create a multi-line strings. It is the simplest method to let a long string split into different lines. We need to enclose it, pay, it with a pair of triple quotes. One at the start and the second in the end. More examples in detail about the multi-line strings. Here, the first example, we are using a new line statement. My string equals to, in within double quotations, the only way to, within new line, learn to program is by writing the code. Print my string. Then what is going to print here? The, the only way is to learn the program is by writing the code. And next, use multiple format conversion types in a single print statement. We are having, uh, we are inserting the variable equals to 12 and string equals to variable as integer equals to percentile D. And let us guess what is going to print here. The 12 is going to print and the variable as float percentile F percentage variable comma variable and what is going to print here For, uh, this is float so that 12.00 something it is uh, coming in float method and print string then the output is variable as integer 12 and variable as float is 12 so far we have seen about uh, in a single quotations and in double quotation and in new line so here we are going with more examples that is using triple quotes my string equals to within triple quotes. The only way to learn the Python program is by writing a code. Then print my string. The output is the only way to learn uh, to program is by writing code. And another one is using parentheses and a single or double quotes. We can use both single or double quotes using parentheses. For example, my string equals to using double quotations. The only way to and again new line learn to program is by writing the code and closing the parentheses. Print my string. The only way to learn to program is by writing the code. Here I am concluding about the multi-line strings and the string format. So thank you for watching.